Malouli is in trouble, can't get the hand pass in. It's a shot which has been taken by Vanderhaar. That's one of Vanderhaar's few kicks so far in this game. He's pulled off the kick. Essendon working the ball into the centre as it now comes into Vanderhaar. He steadies. Big, long, raking drop punt right up towards the goals, and it's through. Maxi Crow centre of the ground, looks for Mansfield again. Nor can it be uh, Van der Haar. Van der Haar says it's mine with a 70 metre kick. Right up into the goal square and under. On the left centre wing, he sees a lead into Van der Haar at the centre of the ground and those strong hands make no mistake. A See pool manufacturer, uh, Paul Van der Haar, works with his father. They tell me he digs a few holes All for right. a swimming pool. So that's strong hands of his that certainly pull down the big marks. Into full forward now. Under the ball is Terry Danaher again. Swans are going to work it out. Look at Keith Narkel. His marksman must be a good 30 or 40 metres away from him as Narkel bursts into the centre, puts it across over towards the half forward line where a good mark has been taken by Simon Beasley. It's a right half forward flank. Thumped away in defence, comes out towards Keith Narkolo. He cleverly sidesteps, loses possession of the ball, as you can see. Now oh, regains well it. Good play, Keith Narkel, as he comes straight across the ground to brother Philip, who can't take the mark. Was being held, however, by Max Crow, who doesn't agree with the decision. And Philip Narkel, well, number 36, to take the kick some 40 to 45 metres out from goal. And, what a and got a goal immediately. Well, the score at the uh, closing stages of the third quarter, Essendon doing it brilliantly. 14-10-94 to Swan Districts, 9-15-63. The Beasley with a chance under the ball, so too is Maluli. Punched away there by Boucher to Parker. Parker under the boot. And young Ross Parker has brought up his third personal goal for the match. And Swan's 12. So it's 12 well, goals to Swans and 14 goals to Essendon. And in the last few seconds, they're well, back in the game. Isn't football an amazing game? They're out on their feet five minutes ago and they kicked three goals in five minutes one districts uh, I think brought about by the change of the centre half forward and full forward initially they had a hand in the two guys they got straight after their, their laps in form but concussion three times last year and um, won the fairest and best for a first year player good kick into the centre half forward and waiting behind the man we've talked about young Ross Parker who with Ken Mansfield uh, vying for the best roving position on the field today I'd suggest that the uh, Swan Districts players that's Parker's 22nd kick or oh, it's his 22nd kick coming up, and I'd suggest that they would probably not be very confident about the outcome of this one. <laughs> Having said that, he'll probably drill it straight through nah. the centre, nah. which he didn't do. So, uh, As once again, Essendon are away, this time through the agency of Shane Hurd. Down to the half-forward flank, and a great mark by Barry Day on the left half-forward flank for now Essendon. Barry's ruck roving with uh, Hickmott at the moment from a half-forward flank. Yes, and the one-time star centre man for Bacardi's in West Perth. Puts Essendon into attack with a kick that goes right into the goal square. Kranzberg in front, the blonde-headed player for Swan District should play on as the umpire Bucky's decision. Ball. And now a free for holding.